had to for so long. And I think it's all about money. Uh, it's all about uh, getting rich really quick and being in power. There were some things that I took for granted that I don't have here. I don't want to make the, I don't want the cops to be enemies. I don't hate cops. So I, if a stranger pulled up behind me and needed something, I'd rather that happen than a cop. I'm scared to death of the cops. I say to you guys, reach out a little more. Get to know the people in town. They're just all in cahoots. That's what it seems to us, that they're just part of this big group. And once your name is on their blacklist, you're done. Conspiracy theories, in my opinion. The governor, governor of Hamilton, the whole city council had to go to anger management or counseling or something like that. We the people, that's us. We've been labeled as terrorists. That when you get right down here in little old Valley County and you see county commissioners who are viewed with absolute distrust. I'm doing my darndest to make them very afraid of me. Because I got a big mouth and I'm going to use it. There's a pungent south wind blowing in from the camp of continuance, tradition, the enemy of change. That's what, that's the biggest challenge in this community. You can't move forward when you're looking backwards. you to hate me because that's getting us nowhere look at where it's got us the governor government of hamilton the whole city council had to go to anger management or counseling or something like that the county government's trying to pacify the people by having um, meetings throughout the county it's called civil discourse they're teaching us how to get along with each other i'm trying to figure out how that's going to help when you have corruption and you have just blatant evil going on in the county. People have a lot of animosity towards each other, but I don't think it's supposed to be towards each other. You know, I think it just ended up that way because of some kind of scary oppression. And I think it's all about money. Uh, it's all about uh, getting rich really quick and being in power. Being an American, you know, and traveling all over the world, doing a lot of things. Uh, there were some things that I took for granted that I don't have here. The rule of law rather than the rule of men. treasures. Yeah, apparently I've had too much coffee. Once you find one, you get a little, your heart beats a little faster, and you find another one, and then somebody next to you finds a big one, and then you really get fired up, and then you're hooked. It's just... <laughs> Genuine sapphires from the Sapphire Mountains. You know, I've already got the start of a matching set of earrings. Welcome to Montana. Torn between my heart and mind, agony and joy combined. Nothing children left to find, what a legacy. To leave behind. I care about the vital uh, future of your offspring. Leave behind. Don't you? Leave behind. We are rising up, just to be honest with you. People watch all of these so-called elected officials. Conspiracy theories, in my opinion. There's a lot of people in this country 
that just do not believe what's being told them anymore. We've been labeled as terrorists. That when you get right down here in little old Valley County and you see county commissioners who are viewed with absolute distrust. And I'm doing my darnest to make them very afraid of me. Because I got a big mouth and I'm going to use it. There's a pungent south wind blowing in from the camp of continuance. Tradition, the enemy of change. That's what, that's the biggest challenge in this community. You can't move forward when you're looking back. I mean, I'm the last guy in the world he wants to screw with. Well, he didn't get the horses, but called the county attorney. He says, hey, Jim, you got a address? He says, I know that. Tell the deputy. <laughs> The urge to kill never goes away. Um. <laughs> but it has more or less soured us on... We're very uh, careful. <laughs> ...in the valley, and uh, I don't like dealing with this class of people. And I certainly don't like being under their jurisdiction. Right out of a bucket. Small, yet at the same time, little twinkly treasures. Yeah, apparently I've had too much coffee. Once you find one, you get a little, your heart beats a little faster, and you find another one, and then somebody next to you finds a big one, and then you really get fired up, and then you're hooked. It's just <laughs> Genuine sapphires from the Sapphire Mountains. You know, I've already got the start of a matching set of earrings. Welcome to Montana. Jim Mountain.